All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Facebook customer feedback score. Now, this is something that not many people talk about, and it's something that's really, really important. So now what this is, is that it's a score that Facebook gives you that allows them to see if what you're selling matches up with exactly what you're advertising. So the customer feedback score is a way for Facebook to collect feedback from people who make purchases on your store to understand the purchasing experience. Now, negative feedback helps Facebook identify ads that lead to low quality post-click purchase experience. So what that means is when someone purchases your product and what they purchase doesn't exactly match up with what you've advertised, then Facebook is gonna give you a score based on that. These negative ads might have products that are not exactly described how they are, or the shipping times might be longer than expected. So as a result, you're gonna get a negative customer experience. Now, if you receive a large amount of negative feedback, then Facebook is gonna consider your ads as low quality. And so what that means is your ads are gonna experience a delivery penalty. And so you're gonna reach lower people for the same amount of budget. Now, Facebook is going to use this information to give you a score out of zero to five, which I'm going to go through now and explain. Okay, so now this is a nice chart that I've actually found. It actually explains this very well. So a score from four to five is good customer feedback. Um, a score from three to four is average customer feedback. A score from two to three is poor customer feedback. A score of one to two is under penalty. So that means your advertising is going to be under penalty. And a score from zero to one is gonna have your advertising disabled. Okay, so this is gonna be the scores in just a bit more detail. So a score of four to five is good customer feedback. So the majority of customers surveyed gave a positive feedback about their purchase experience. A score of three to four is average customer feedback. So a score of three to four is on par with other e-commerce businesses that sell stuff through Facebook as well. Um, a score of two to three is poor customer feedback. So a business is close to receiving a delivery penalty. Um, meaning the ads are gonna reach less people for the same budget. Um, a score of one to two is when your advertising is gonna be under penalty. So your ads are gonna receive a penalty and they're gonna cost more to reach fewer people. And a score of zero to one is gonna have your advertising disabled. So that means that your page can no longer advertise with Facebook due to the poor customer feedback. Now the thing that Facebook assesses, um, there's gonna be four things. It's gonna be product quality, there's going to be, um, did they receive it or not? Uh, customer service and also the shipping time. So they're the top four things that Facebook assesses. So now with product quality, uh, Facebook is gonna ask the customer about the quality of the product that they received. Now, this is gonna be a score in percentage out of 100. So you can see just as an example, 75% um, were most satisfied with the quality or 75% were dissatisfied with quality. So that's just an example of something that you might see. Um, the next one is, did they receive it or not? So Facebook asked the customer if they received the product or not. This score is also available in percentage out of 100. Now, um, as an example, you can see that 6% uh, were most dissatisfied with them not receiving the item. So that can just be like one example. The next thing is gonna be customer service. Um, so Facebook also asked the customer if they were satisfied with the service or not. Now, this score is also available in percentage out of 100. So you can see um, in the example that uh, 3% were most dissatisfied with customer service. And the last one is gonna be delivery speed. So Facebook also judges you on the speed of delivery. Now you can set the delivery speed on your score dashboard, which I recommend to setting it to the highest one. Now this score is also available in a percentage out of 100. So um, in the example, you can see that 3% um, were most dissatisfied with shipping speed or 25% were most satisfied with the speed. Now the biggest question here is how to improve your customer feedback score. So I've gone through and listed four ways you can improve your score. Um, the first one is gonna be, be clear about what you're selling or offering. So your video ad should accurately represent what you're selling. Um, the second way is gonna be set clear expectations for delivery. So you wanna have a shipping info page that uh, clearly shows the shipping speeds and you wanna provide tracking numbers for all the orders shipped. The third way is gonna be make sure you can meet customer demand. So do not scale your business if you don't have the money to fulfill orders. So you wanna scale your advertising with the business's ability to deliver products. And the second thing is be honest about telling customers when you can't fulfill what's promised. So um, if you run into money problems or let's say that you're out of stock on the product, just be honest with the customer. Um, and the last thing is have good customer service. Now this is crucial. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna hire VAs on Upwork, which I recommend. That's gonna save you a lot of time and it's gonna make sure that you have good customer service.
So now you might be thinking, what exactly is gonna happen if my page does get a score below one? Um, then it's gonna be banned. So what you wanna do there is simply just making your Facebook page. That's probably gonna be the best thing to do and it's just a very simple fix. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.